So this is the idea I got. That's a 5 inch diameter jar. Those are two bearings. I'm going to cut two of these out. I have a CNC router so this makes this nice and easy. But you could do this by hand if you wanted to. It, it would just take a little longer. So I'm going to cut that out. And this is 10 inches wide by four and a half inches tall. And these are two holes that I'm going to put a little bolt through there with a bearing. And I'll show you. And I'm going to cut those out of this piece of wood right here. So I cut these out and I got some miscellaneous stuff here. I always tend to save all the scrap, but um, I got some little bearings here from, I don't know what these are from exactly, but probably like something out of a rollerblade or a skateboard maybe, but um, I got these little tubes that I was able to cut off on a lathe, which you could use a tubing cutter or anything like that. Um, so my idea is here to have a bolt go through here, like that, and then a little spacer, and then one of these bearings, and then another spacer, and then a nut. That should allow that bearing to just spin right on the other side of that bolt. So this is what I got. So I got this motor here from a sign. It spins at like 15 RPM. It's real slow, but it's really strong. And, um, I just made some gears. So we're gonna try to hook this all together. <laughs> 